hello everybody. It is a beautiful sunny day here at the Chateau. You can hear the birds singing, squirrels are running around the trees, and as always, it's a great, great day. Now, today I have a really, really annoying job. One of the biggest expenses with a Chateau, as all of you would know, is replacing a roof and windows. And this place, we're really, really lucky. Both are done. However, the £100,000 which I spent fixing, replacing the roof on this chateau, seems to be spent in vain. And it's not an insignificant amount of money because that £100,000 roof on the chateau is destroying it. It is not an insignificant size roof, especially with the other part of the wing which goes off that way around the front, and it's a mansard roof. Lots of slate, lots of labour involved, and of course, lots of wood and the little crotchets for it to hang on. But we have lots of leaks. So I'm not sure about you, but I generally think that if you spend £100,000 on something, it should work as it's intended, and a roof that leaks is not quite doing the job it was designed for. All the way up in the top floor, as you can see, it's not an insignificant height up here. That's the other little wing that pops out. Not gonna lie, when you uh, spend that much money on a roof, you do not expect to see leaks and watermarks all up your ceiling. So it's time to get in the attic. And that means going up the beautiful staircase into the rather dodgy looking attic. As you can see, it's really, really low roof space because this is a mansard roof. So I'm going to have to crawl all the way along to the other end where the other chimney is. And this is not an easy task. Oh dear. Now I've got to get all the way down there to the other end. Now even further through the dodgy oh, holes to the section of the house where it had a fire. As you can see, these are steel beams because they've been replaced. Whereas the original would have been wood, they obviously burnt. <sighs> now, other side of that chimney, or is it this side? And there is the problem. All out there. Daylight, where there's supposed to be a roof. The rain's arrived, that's always helpful. And uh, you can see it there. It's just going to be a gap there where it's uh, the concrete touches the tiles, which means I'm going to have to climb out onto this roof, secure myself on the roof hooks for the ladder, and then reseal that. I'm harnessed up and I've got my roof ladder. Now, this is where, viewer, I tell you what, I don't particularly like heights. And ordinarily, I would be using a cherry picker for this, but it won't reach this ridge tile over because of the pitch of the roof. It's, uh, the boom would touch the side of the house and uh, I'd be nowhere near the chimney. It would go higher than the chimney, but uh, it wouldn't reach it based on the angle. So it's climbing out of the skylight with a ladder. So uh, if anyone hears a big splash, it's me in the moat. Side, we haven't got a leak on that side, uh, but this side we're missing this, which is protecting that. That's gone, so water's coming down the side of the chimney, going behind that, and expected running underneath that. Now, longer term, that needs to be replaced and pointed properly. Shorter term, roofing mastic. Yeah. That side is a moat to fall in, although at this height probably going to kill me anyway. And that side's gravel. So, uh, might just admire the view. You can see Grand Church all out there, actually. And 
the idea. Just going to squeeze into those cracks the bitumen roof sealer, and that should do until we get a decent dry spell to be able to come up and do that properly. That's uh, obviously not an easiest job, but that's a huge gap. This will be okay, and the sun's even shining now. Actually, once you get over your initial fear of the height and climbing out the window, it's actually quite nice out here. Yeah, might sit here for a bit longer. have it a reasonable temporary repair that's not what I'd want to be doing that often go on down the other side over as well lent over <laughs> it's a bit dodgy but there we go now just to take in the view in the sunshine for a little minute and get on with another job hopefully when I go inside we won't be able to see daylight out of the roof anymore <laughs> 